What's up everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to install the Uncle Punch training mod onto a memory card similar to how they do with 20XX Tournament Edition. So for this tutorial you'll need the following items, a soft modded Wii with homebrew, the SD card you use for homebrew, a GameCube memory card, the training mode memory card files, the GCMM homebrew app, both of those will be available in the description below for download, and then a program to unzip files, I'm going to be using WinRAR. So to begin, you insert the SD card that you're using from your Wii into your computer. You want to open up the root folder, which just means the beginning of the SD card, don't go any folders. Um, once you've done that, you'll want to navigate over to your downloads. You'll want to extract the files, GCMM and training mode, I've already done that. Very simple to do. Um, go into GCMM, select SD, and then you'll want to copy over these three files. So just drag them straight over to the root and let them copy over. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it a second time. Um, basically what this is doing is installing the GCMM app onto your homebrew, so you'll be able to modify memory cards. Um, the GCMM WAD isn't necessary, this is if you want to have it as a channel on your uh, actual Wii menu. Anyways, once you've done that, you'll want to go over to your other download, the training mode mod, make sure you've extracted this as well. Double click that, and then you'll see these two files in here. One says mod launcher and the other says training mode. These will be the actual files that go on your memory card. So if you go back to your SD card, you'll want to create a new folder and call it MC Backup in all caps, Oops, like that. Um, once you have that, you'll want to just double click that and then drag the two files, mod launcher and training mode, into the folder. Again, this is training mode version 1.1, but it should work with any version, version that may come out in the future. Alright, so once you've done that, you have the files now all on your SD card, so you can eject your SD card and move over to the Wii. Alright, so once you've inserted your SD card into your Wii and the memory card that you're going to be using for the exploit, you're going to want to go to the homebrew channel. And if you did it correctly, you should see GCMM as an app available on the homebrew channel. It should be somewhere on there. For me, it's the very top one. So you just want to select it and load it up. And it's going to say use internal SD or FAT32 USB device. Obviously we're using the SD card, so you just press A. And now you're going to get this menu. So on this menu, you're going to want to, first of all, if you want to back up your Melee in case you're worried about it being corrupted, you can press Y and back up. And then it'll ask you for a slot, and whichever slot, I'm doing slot A. I don't have anything on this memory card, but if you do, you could back it up in the event of a file being corrupted. So I'm just going to continue. Anyway, so to get the files on the memory card, you want to actually, first of all, you want to format your memory card. So you, you hold L and press Z, and then I'll say, please select a memory card slot. We're doing slot A, and it says, are you sure you want to format memory card in slot A? And yes, we do, so we press B. And then it says all contents of memory card will be erased, so you press Z. Obviously, if you already have this, if you have stuff on your memory card, you want to save it before you do this. So you press Z, it's formatted, and there we go. And so now we'll be able to put the files on the memory card without them corrupting. So you go over to restore, so you press X, and then slot A again. And so now you're going to see these two files. One is the mod launcher, and then one is the actual training actual training codes. One will say one of one, one of two, and the other says two of two. So I just start with the first one, select A, and it says update memory card, restoration complete, and it's going to take you back to the main menu. You just press X again, slot A, and do the same thing for training mode. Press A, it's updated, and there you go, and then press start to exit out of the launcher. And so now we're going to move over and load it up on Melee. Alright, so now we're going to be loading up on a GameCube just to test it out. Um, if you installed it correctly, it should load normally. There shouldn't be any issues. You'll see the title screen. So, looks like we're good. 
And then similar to 20XX TE, you want to go to versus mode and the name entry. You'll hear a ding noise, and then voila, we got Uncle Punch on the GameCube. And so everything should work properly, and um, yeah. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for anyone who is trying to figure that out. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer what I know. That's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.